What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? All right, so today I've got the Umarex Gauntlet in 30 caliber. I've got the ATN x 4K Pro on there. And we're gonna be testing a couple different kinds of slugs, basically the most popular types. This is the Griffin Air Gun Ammo Hollow Base and Hollow Point Slug. And that is a 46 grain. And then we've got the Nielsen Specialty Ammo 43.8 grain Hollow Point. And we're gonna be shooting it into some ballistics gel down here. And I've got the chronograph set up. Might have to put that box on it so we get a good reading. And then we're gonna do some accuracy testing. See which one groups the best and which one expands the best. All right, this is the 46 grain Griffin air gun ammo, hollow point. I'm gonna shoot this right there, close to that corner. See how she expands. All right, it looks like we did not get a reading on the chronograph. Fortunately, maybe it's just too sunny here. That box ain't doing its job. Go ahead and put the Nielsen Specialty 43.8 grain in here. Load that in. Uh, definitely harder to chamber than the Griffin is. The Griffin just slides right in. Now we're gonna fire this over just a little bit. All right, looks like we did get a reading on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot over the chronograph again. That way I can get some good readings so I can show you all the power numbers that each of these slugs is producing. I put it in a shady area so hopefully it'll work now. So this is the 43.8 grain NSA. All right, 953 feet per second. 46 grain Griffin slug. 986.5 feet per second. So, quite a bit more energy out of the Griffins than the NSAs. Alright, so here is the results. One back farther is the Nielsen Specialty and that one is the Griffin. So, our permanent cavity on the Griffin is about four and a half inches. And then on the Nielsen Specialty got about seven inches. So you're definitely gonna get a lot more penetration with the Nielsen Specialty than you will the Griffin. But for a small game, the Griffin dumps all of its energy almost immediately. We're gonna go ahead and cut these slugs out of here and I'll give you some nice close up footage of what they look like, how they expand. So we got them out and you can tell the one on the right, which is the Griffin, expanded a lot more than the NSA. You see the uh, Griffin expanded so much that it blew out a hole clear through the slug. Just dumped all of its energy immediately. And I'm gonna insert a little clip of a squirrel getting smacked with one of those. And you'll see they are very effective on small game. NSA would be good for like some coyotes or something, something bigger where you 
need the penetration. But uh, we'll also get into accuracy too. You'll see the difference in accuracy, but my choice for small game is the Griffin all day long. My shooting table is set up here at 40 yards for accuracy testing. And well, if you don't believe that's 40 yards, I really don't care. So 40 yards. Got the 43.8 grain NSAs right here. And we're gonna do a little three shot group. See how accurate they are. Incredibly hard to load though. I think it's because they're not pure lead for one, they're an alloy. And also they don't have that hollow base that helps it conform to the rifling, you know. All right, that is a pretty good group right there. All of them almost touching. So let's get onto the Griffin and see what they do. And now we've got the 46 grain Griffin slugs. Let's see how accurate they are. Loads so much easier, which is already a huge plus for me. basically in the same hole again. So we can compare our groups here. 46 grain Griffin, we got about center to center, quarter inch of spread. And then on our 43.8 grain NSA, we've got more like three eighths inch. So you gotta remember though, this is only at 40 yards the longer the range is, the more the inaccuracy gets multiplied, so. So if you don't think that 100 foot pounds is enough for your squirrel hunting, then I've got a good alternative here for you that I can show you. This is the Zeus 72 caliber. 1500 foot pounds. I'm gonna shoot it into that gel real quick. Well, I couldn't find the slug, but yeah, that's the ideal squirrel gun right there.